climate change is happening now. You know, for a long time we've talked about it as something that's happening in the future. But it's here and we're causing it. It was really incredible when we got here because to me, I hadn't been to Greenland before we started this mission. And seeing how big the ice sheet was, was just startling. I mean, the first year we got in a jet and we flew across the ice and it took an hour and all you could see was just white, this giant white sheet of ice in every direction. And, and it, it's 10,000 feet tall in some places. So it's an incredibly enormous um, feature on the planet and it's vanishing. And the fact that what humans are doing is causing it to melt really sunk in when I first laid eyes on it. When I first wanted to be a scientist, I thought I wanted to be a physicist. And I actually failed out of physics graduate school. Um, and part of it was because I never found something I was really passionate about studying. But I didn't find the thing that really made me passionate until I started studying the oceans and particularly climate change in the oceans. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, 14 out. Two drop. I got a signal. Okay. So, OMG, Oceans Melting Greenland, is a five year mission that's now in its sixth year that uses airplanes to study how the oceans are eating away at Greenland's ice. Uh, we figured out that the oceans are playing an enormous role in how the ice behaves and that means that the ice, if it's responding to the oceans, it means that the glaciers are even more threatened than we previously understood. So OMG has already raised the bar for the amount of sea level rise we expect to happen from Greenland in the next hundred years. If we don't change how we create energy, if we don't change the way we run our cars and turn on our lights and operate our computers, then we're gonna drive the planet into a climate we don't really wanna live in. And it's already beginning to happen. So you can look around and see heat waves, wildfires, torrential rains in some places and flooding and drought in others. And of course, what OMG is studying, sea level rise as these giant ice sheets melt and as the ocean sucks up extra heat, it expands. All of this is driving sea levels higher everywhere in the world and that has implications for every country that has a coastline. We're really watching something unfold that hasn't happened in millions of years. And there's no way around it. It's definitely something we're doing to the planet, and we see the evidence everywhere. And I hope people really, you know, don't look away from this, but start to take action.